I'm Dana and thank you for tuning into my channel. This video is five tips on how to protect your edges and how to keep your hair and scalp clean while rocking your box braid. Tip number one, firm is okay, pain is not okay. Now we've all heard the expression, no pain, no gain. Well, that's a lie where your hair is concerned. A, a, a hairstyle should not be painful. So we're gonna replace that expression, okay? Too tight ain't right and will surely make your edges out of sight. What am I saying? If when you get your box braids or your twist or whatever protective style installed, if it's painful, you need to stop the hairdresser, you need to stop your friend, whoever's doing your hair, and you need to let them know to loosen it up. Firm is okay. Pain is not okay. Okay, tip number two. Wait for your braids or your twist to loosen before um, doing a lot of styling and manipulating. In other words, when you first get your braids or your twists done and they're firm, um, don't get in a hurry to be trying to pull them up into a high bun or pull it back into a French braid or flip and flop it. Don't get in a hurry. If you let your braids have two weeks to loosen up, uh, there'll be less traction, less tension uh, on your hair and on your edges especially um, when you're styling. So keep it simple. I say in the first two weeks, that's what I did. Then they loosened up and they could easily um, be styled and moved around and it didn't cause uh, pain or too much tension on my hair. Okay, so what I usually do when I wear my hair in a style uh, where I pull it away from my face or pulling it together in a direction, I go back and I make sure that the braids are not um, pulled too tightly. So I will individually grab uh, the braids that are along the perimeter of my hairline and I pull them gently forward, not anything where it's going to be noticeable, but I pull it to where it's definitely not too tight. So what I'm doing here is I'm separating uh, the braids and exposing each part. I'm spraying uh, just water with my water bottle onto my scalp, rubbing the water in uh, along the part, and then taking uh, castor oil and rubbing that in as well, gently rubbing it in, uh, massaging it into my scalp. And then I continue that through all the parts uh, until my entire head has been um, sprayed, moisturized with water, and then um, covered with castor oil as well. So tip number four was a way of preventing flakes, especially if you deal with dandruff like I do. And tip number five is kind of inevitable if you're going to leave your um, box braids in for two to three months, then you're going to have to wash your hair at some point, especially if you're using gel to uh, kind of lay the front. You see, I, I just let it go today, but um, you're going to have to wash your hair. I decided not to, to film me actually doing that. I saw a video by a young lady on YouTube uh, who goes by the name of Journey to Waist Length. I've provided the link to her video on how she washes her hair with a minimum amount of frizz. And I want to encourage you to go to her channel and check it out. But make sure you don't just completely neglect your hair and your scalp. But, you know, if you leave them in for that long, you're going to have to cleanse your hair and your scalp and then condition and moisturize as well. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Until the next video, God bless.